The components of a sternet are pretty straightforward, and if we understand what they represent, it makes visualizing lines and planes in a sternet a bit easier. First is the primitive circle. This is the perimeter of the sternet. Remember that we're looking at a projection of a lower hemisphere. Well, we can use that to visualize looking into a glass salad bowl, for example. The primitive circle is the rim of the salad bowl. Anything that touches the primitive circle, then, is horizontal. Anything that touches the center of the sternet, then, is vertical. Already we can see how steep something is, just by seeing how close or far it is from the primitive circle. Next is these lines of longitude. These are called great circles. These lines of latitude are called small circles. It's interesting and useful to note that only one great circle, and only one small circle, touches the origin or center of the sternet. We'll exploit this relationship as we plot lines and planes and perform rotations using a sterionet.